walked the journey of formation and uh, spent a time of grace and growth. And I hate to, dis to uh, disturb you, but as we say in our constitutions, formation is a lifelong process. <laughs> 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 We're on this journey together, and we commit ourselves to go together. I'm Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> that the, the goal of these three years is really the integration of all lives, of prayer, ministry, and life and community. And it's that journey that has brought Susan and all of us to this evening. And so it is with great joy that I invite you, Susan, and Alexandra, uh, Susan's mentor, to come forward. <coughs> Margaret, I have journeyed with Susan for the past three years, and during that time she has prayed and discerned her call, and now, with the affirmation of the community, request to profess perpetual vows in the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace. Susan, what is it you ask this day before God? in the presence of this community of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace and in the presence of your family and your friends. In gratitude for the wondrous gift of God's love, I ask to live a life of love and service as a Sister of St. Joseph of Peace. I pray that each day of my life, I may take that step which will lead me into the deepest depths of the heart of Jesus. And how do you hope to live out your commitment? Trusting in God with all my heart and relying on the support and example of our sisters and all others who touch my life, I hope to live with an open heart by listening, pondering, and contemplating the word of God in my life and witnessing to it in action for justice and peace. So let us all pray to God to call Susan and each one of us to be Christ's peace in the world. <coughs> Gracious and loving God, we ask you to bless Susan with your spirit of peace to live out the charism of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace. Help her to be your compassionate presence in our world. Fill her with your peace. And may she continue to grow in love for this community and for the people of God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So Susan, I invite you now to profess your vows. In response to God's call to seek justice, to love tenderly, and to walk in the way of peace, I, Susan Rose Francois, in the presence of Margaret Byrne, congregation leader, and in the presence of the community gathered here, vow to God poverty, celibacy, and obedience for life, according to the constitutions of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace. that Susan will receive in just a couple of moments is a cross that was originally given to Sister Johanna Vogelzang, one of our dear sisters who is now in heaven. 
when she made her her pet for vows. This is one of the rituals that we carry on you know, as we celebrate perpetual um, commitment. It's our link with the past, with the blessing of the present, with the commitment to the future. And so, we bless this cross in the name of God, in the presence of this community, and in the presence of the church, that is the presence and compassion of Christ. Susan, receive this cup <coughs> as a sign of the commitment you have professed through your per perpetual vows as a sister of St. Joseph of Peace. And Susan, I invite you now to sign your vows in the uh, community vow book. So I would like to invite you all now to stand with me and extend your hand in blessing over Susan. I think you have the text in your book. We bless you with peace and hold you in love and pray that you will be filled with joy as you live out the gospel of peace in its mission of justice as a sister of St. Joseph of Peace. And may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and love of God.